Welcome to part 19 of our RC car buggy build and we're going to tackle the building out the wing and essentially we have a left wing mount and we have a right wing mount and it's all held together just by one very long screw and aluminum nut and essentially the hardest part is just getting the aluminum nut to thread through and to tighten so the other problem is it's it's just the it's a very awkward way of attaching the wing is just that you have to thread through that one very long screw um, essentially this kind of reminds me of of uh, the rear bumper design of the SC10 uh, short course truck where you have a very one just very gigantic long screw and it just doesn't seem to make any sense because uh, the rest of the car is just very elegantly designed but I guess in hindsight thinking about this I can't think of a better way of designing this either so but anyways just just thinking that uh, this could be uh, a area where a third party could potentially uh, innovate this this design but essentially it it just goes right into the rear of this uh, shock tower now my advice to you would be to to actually uh, screw in the shock tower to the chassis before you do this uh, because and and it's kind of funny because uh, um, like there, there is just no room for you to screw this in if you if you do this first but uh, uh, I just wanted to show you that that uh, what I was envisioning when I originally built this was that to show you like how the wing will actually screw in into the rear shock tower and and in essence uh, show you that all these angles and two screws that go on the back like that and that is all the wing rear wing really is However, it's just that when you actually are screwing this in, and to show you this, um, you have one screw that is left over, and what you need to do is, uh, if you ever need to access that, just you need to remove the, um, let, let me just go ahead and just remove one of these wing screws here, because I really do need to get this uh, installed in there so just remove the two of the wing screws and I just need to go ahead and and uh, get my shock tower attached to my chassis so once again I'm just including this mistake so you could see uh, how you could compensate for mistakes uh, sometimes when you even when you try to follow the manual step for step uh, you could go out of order or you do things that that uh, are are incorrect, but there are there are ways to compensate. You could just backstep a few steps in there, and it's and it's not the end of the world. Um, also, the other time you backstep is is like for example, if you've been racing and a part is broken, and you know there there are just ways to backstep too. So don't let these little mistakes ruin ruin the build for you but just so you're aware next step is to put in the the uh, spur the the uh, slipper cover and pretty much um, we're gonna just apply some thread lock in there and then just screw everything down and once again the reason for applying thread lock is because um, we, we're we're threading it through uh, aluminum parts to carbon fiber parts and aluminum to metal to through carbon fiber for for whatever reason doesn't seem to stick really well uh, aluminum to you know uh, aluminum to aluminum doesn't stick really well either uh, but what works really good is metal to plastic it seems to work really great however as you work with higher end parts uh, you would you would start to realize like hey these things are coming loose or that's coming apart so initially just you know go ahead and 
and uh, fire up the thread lock. The only problem I hate about thread lock is that it does get relatively messy. So you need to have the uh, like a paper towel just laying around just in case to clean that up. But overall, we are pretty much done with Bag J, and your RC buggy build is coming along just pretty great. And this represents the completion of the top deck. Thanks for watching.